Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Wrath Pre-Patch and our Night Elf Hunter. This will be the last day that we are in a pre-patch. Today is the 26th as I'm recording this, and at 6 p.m. my time tonight, we will be switching over to actual Wrath launch, and the Joyous Journeys buff will be gone, so we won't have that on the character after this. Uh, yes, that is a fishing pole. I did level up my fishing a little bit last night. Got that to 61. Or actually got it to 70. Got cooking to 61. Trained the next rank of that. And yeah, now we have plenty of fish. And the great thing is I'm pretty sure our pet loves fish. Yeah, he, he's going to be pretty happy with his diet of fish. The only thing that I am not really happy about is that for some reason when we fish up fish, you can eat it as food right away. You don't have to cook it. And in fact, you can't cook it. I was hoping we would be able to use fishing to help our cooking. But for whatever reason, that's not the case. You can't use the fish that you fish up to cook. You have to get raw small fish. I, I don't really know how I would do that. Um, a guide I looked at said defeating fish. Uh, I'm not really sure how I would defeat the thing that I cast my line into the water to catch. Uh, but maybe that will just remain a mystery. Maybe fishing and cooking do not have any actual crossover. And I was just too hopeful. Boy, do we need some better melee weapons, huh? Okay, let's go back to using this for now. Uh, I think we are ready to head out. We have a few things left to finish up here. And after this, I think we're going to be headed out to Darkshore. Uh, I don't think we have a lot left to do here. I do want to get into Blood Mist at some point. There's a lot of really good quests there. And I I've never actually finished the zone. So I would like to complete that. On some character at some point, maybe it'll be this one. Uh, for now, let's head over to Lake Almeth and talk to our buddy Danilan. He has a couple of breadcrumbs for us to turn in. Not sure if he's going to have any other quests for us or not, but we can go have a look. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Hope you're excited for Wrath launch later this evening. And by the time you see this, I, I hope that you're playing in Northrend and that you're having a great time. Or maybe you're leveling up a character. Either way, I hope you're having fun. Thank you for clicking on the video and for choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I do appreciate it. Greetings. You found this on Teldrassil? Intriguing. This fruit is exotic. Perhaps this, its seeds were brought here from far off. Perhaps even as far off as Azeroth. They're, yeah, I think they're talking about the Eastern Kingdoms here when they say Azeroth. This was during a time in the lore when Azeroth was not the name of the planet. It was the name of maybe the Eastern Kingdoms. There's something about this fruit. It seems to have reacted very strangely with the soil of Teldrassil. If you'll excuse me, I must study this further. Good luck, and we right. never hear from him again. Yeah, I don't think he has... Well, let's wait a minute. Maybe he's going to do a little roleplay here. Let's see how these seeds grow in my prepared soil. Yeah, we do have one more breadcrumb, so he better snap out of this. Uh, it, it spawned a bunch of boglings, which is bad news. Oh, that's something else. One of you guys gave me a really cool macro that we could take a look at here. I really appreciate it. So this is pet attack, cast hunter's mark, cast auto attack. So I'm gonna, I can pop this up and it'll put hunter's mark, it'll send our pet into attack. That'll do two things. It makes it so that I don't have to use till day to send my pet into attack every time. And it will make it so that I actually use hunter mark, <laughs> which I really hadn't been using. So yeah, thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. It's gonna make life a lot more enjoyable here on the hunter. I haven't seen a plant like this since a sojourn I made to the Swamp of Sorrows, decades ago. It's amazing that a specimen made its way to Teldrassil, and it's grown to such a size. Forgive my shortness of words, but there's a test I would like to perform on this frond. Till next we meet. Now he's gonna do another test, I wonder what this is gonna spawn. Let's stand back here in case something we have to fight pops out. Uh, oh, this has a quest. I don't think I've ever done this. 
The fronds Denelon planted within his garden have sprouted and grown. They tremble, eager to be picked. Oh. I'm gonna tell you this. If, if a plant is ever trembling, waiting for you to pick it, stay away from it. Don't, don't pick it. Don't eat the fruit. Okay. So that gave us an item. What did it give us? Bogling root, maybe? Sprouted frond heals your target for 76 to 90. Is that it? That's so weird. Okay, well, I guess we are all done with our buddy here. The other things we have left to do, we have to go all the way up to the northwestern part of the zone to fill the Amethyst file at the uh, Moonwell up there. So let's head that way. It's going to be a little bit of a run. Uh, I am surprised you aggroed us, seeing as how you're such a low level. It's Oh, the pet killed you before we could even react. Perfect. Along the way here, we'll keep our eyes open for any cats that we can skin. We'll fight them. Oh, our pet is just, like, going at it today. Yeah, he's just killing stuff. Uh, he's on defensive, so... I also realize that if the pet kills something all on his own, we don't get to loot it. We actually have to hit the thing. So we need to be careful with that, that we actually get enough hits in. There we go. Yeah, apparently we can't just send our, f our pet out to fight for us if we want to loot and skin and stuff like that. Taking a look here, we're gonna have to level up our fishing pretty soon. We're at 70 out of 75 right now. I like that one, that's more control, that I can decide when to fish and when not to, so... Definitely gonna get that trained up when we are near uh, Darnassus today at some point. Need to make sure I'm actually headed to the west here. We could empty our bags, that wouldn't be a bad idea. And in fact, we might as well do that while we're here in town. I'm gonna keep one stack of fish. I feel like that should be enough. We're not really gonna be eating it, it's mainly gonna be for our pet. We'll put it up here with our arrows. And we'll feed him one last bite to eat from this stack and then we'll sell it. How may I help? We could sell the spice bread. I did level up with the spice bread. One of you guys pointed out that the way to get cooking going is to buy the ingredients to make the spice bread. I did do that to level that up. And we can't do that anymore, so from now on we'll have to actually have meat. So spider legs we can use. Eggs. We haven't really encountered any other types of animals yet. Maybe we'll find wolves in Darkshore. Tempted to sell the quiver, but uh, we'll hang on to it. You know what? Let's just sell it. It doesn't give us any bonuses. We, we can get a better quiver later on that can give us like an attack speed bonus, I think. So we will just uh, wait until then to equip a quiver. And maybe by then we'll have better bags. And our inventory situation won't be so dire. Goddess, watch over you. All right, let's get going.
It can't hurt us too much to go ahead and do some skinning here on the way. Definitely going to want to keep that leveled up as we progress. Let's go ahead and take out this last cat over here as well. Yeah, I don't know why the Night Elf pose for casting Hunter's Mark is like some weird ballerina pose. I, I kind of wish that would be different. It's a little bit weird. We could probably cut across country here. We, we don't have to take the road. And in fact, if we cut cross country, we might be able to get some more skinning in. Ah, that's a high jump. Let's try to ease our way down here. There we go. We could scour the outskirts of the lake for this enemy that drops the quest item, the Moss Twined Heart. Haven't seen him yet, I don't think I've ever seen him. So that could be something we could look for, ultimately not very concerned if we leave that quest behind. Uh, we, we've we kind of outleveled the area a bit thanks to the experience buff, so... Not a big deal if we miss one or two things at this point. The good thing about having the quiver on is that it shows you your ammo count. We're going to have to keep a close eye in our bags now on how much ammo we have since we're not using the quiver anymore. Kind of hoping this last quest for the Moonwell turns in in Darnassus, but I have a feeling they're going to want us to go back to Dalinar. Which is fine, our Hearthstone is up, but then we're going to have to run to Darnassus anyway. Look at that, we got, we got a free bag after we've already bought all of our bags. That's cool. It makes up for the one that I got that I didn't see in the first episode. We'll just put it on for a little bit of color change in our, our bag slots. That works. We also need to kill Ursula the Mauler, and he's actually down in the very opposite corner of the map, down way down to the south, so I, I guess that's where we're headed next. I didn't see where this, uh, this turns in. Did we actually fill it? Yeah, it says it goes back to, to Dalinar. Do we just want to hearth back now? And then, yeah, we, we might as well hearth back now. Then we can make a slightly shorter run from there to go take on Ursula the Mauler. And after that, I think we're going to Darnassus because I think we're going to be flying over to Darkshore. Pretty sure... Pretty sure we're done here. After that. What brings you here? Let's see, to be in the presence of the Oracle Tree, it is almost to feel wisdom take form. Let me continue the telling. 
With Teldrassil grown, the Arc Druid approached the dragons for their blessing, as the dragons had placed upon Nordrassil in ancient times. But Norsdomu, Lord of Time, refused to give his blessing, chiding the druid for his arrogance. In agreement with Norsdomu, Alexstrasza, who refused Staghelm, and without her blessing, Teldrassil's growth has been flawed and unpredictable. Without the blessing of Alexstrasza the Lifebinder and Norsdomu the Timeless, Teldrassil's growth has not been without flaw. Strange beasts have been reported arising from the very ground of the tree, and crazed furbolg attacks attack passing travelers. I can only hope that the solution the Ark Druid is looking for will be found quickly. I will pour all the vials you brought into this vessel for you to deliver to Darnassus. Bring it to Fandel Straghelm, and you will find him in the Grove of the Druids. Uh, we can get a bow out of this, which would be great. May the stars guide you. Yeah, it's no wonder that Teldrassil eventually meets the end that it did. It's it's not ironic that it eventually gets burned to the ground. But the way they tell the story of how it was created against the wishes of the dragons and against the wishes of the planet itself, it, it's kind of like fated that it was going to meet a bad end. Basically, they were never supposed to, to plant another world tree to begin with. Uh, and they did it just to regain their immortality, which is a really selfish reason to do something that you're really not supposed to be doing. So, yeah. It's not can't. It's not like you can't feel bad. You feel bad for the generation of night elves that actually lose their home. But, uh, you know, their leaders kind of created that destiny for them. And now they just hang out with the worgen. Maybe in Dragonflight we'll see them uh, replant a new tree with the blessing of the dragons this time. And actually have a home. That would be pretty cool for Night Elf players. I have still been doing a lot of finagling with the new microphone and the new audio setup, having to take into account a, a lot of different settings that I didn't really have before with the USB microphone now going through an audio gate, a two-channel audio gate. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit more work and a few more settings. So I've still been adjusting it. You guys have probably heard slight differences in the loudness or softness of the recent videos. Just let me know if you can how this one sounds. I feel like I've basically got things dialed in although I oftentimes feel like my audio is a little bit quiet or the game audio is a little bit quiet so any feedback you guys have on it I would appreciate that trying to make sure that the music and the game sounds are still like at the forefront without being overpowering There's lots of cats down here. This is a really good place to level up skinning. Alright, let's make our way over here and let's get this guy so we can move on. I think we're going to be heading over to Dark Shore, so that is pretty exciting.
And once we lose the Joyous Journeys buff, I feel like we'll be doing a little bit of zone hopping back and forth between equivalent level zones. So, we're, wait, we're going to have to fight these guys. Let's not try to run through them, let's fight these guys. So we're going to be able to go from Dark Shore to Blood Mist, kind of a little bit back and forth. I don't know if we'll be able to 100% both of those zones without out-leveling one of them. But we'll, we'll see as much as we can of both of the zones, and then we're going to go into Ashenville. Because it's been a really long time since I've seen any of Ashenville on the Alliance side of things. Uh, Grimma, we don't need you. You are a rare spawn. We will definitely fight you, though. He dropped a male belt. Can't use that. This guy is tucked away all the way back here and just surrounded by tons of guys. Luckily for us, we are higher level than them, so clearing our way through is not going to be a challenge. We could probably just grab him right now. There we go. And that is done. Unfortunately, this turns back in in Dalinar, so more running to do. More running back and forth, and then once we turn this in, we'll head to Darnassus, and they should be sending us on to Darkshore. We do have a talent point to spend. That will be the last point we put into endurance training. Uh, after this, what do we want to do? Focus fire. All damage caused by you is increased by 1% while your pet is active. Crit strike chance of your pet's special abilities is increased by 10% while kill command is active. 
Uh, we don't have kill command yet. Is that something that we're going to be getting soon? I, I'm not even certain what kill... I know what kill command is in retail. <laughs> but I, I'm not sure what it is here in Wrath, so... Uh, thick hide will increase the armor of our pets. And our armor contribution from items. I think we're going into focus fire and then, uh, and then thick hide. Yep, three and two, that'll be five points. That'll get us down into the next tier uh, where we can pick up Aspect Mastery for one and then Unleashed Fury, just flat increasing the damage done by our pets. So yeah, we want that. Cool, that's pretty straightforward. Seems like Beast Mastery is definitely the way to go for leveling at least. You've proven yourself a most worthy and able hunter, a night elf who follows the path of honor as sure as you do... Uh, as, wait, 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 back it up. Robert speaks, take two. A night elf who follows the path of honor as sure as you do, comma, is certain to find great glory in this world. <laughs> Commas are important. May the forest spirits protect you wherever your travels may take you. Uh, we can get two weapons that we can't use. We could probably train one-handed axes somewhere, right? Either Iron Forge, probably Iron Forge. Okay, that is everything we have to do here. Let's double check with our class trainer to make sure that we are all trained up with them. And then we'll empty our inventory. Peace be with you. Scare Beast, yeah, I don't really care about that, but we'll grab it for what was way too much silver, honestly. And we'll dump our inventory on the vendor here. Hello. Now, spider legs, I can't... Wait, let's check our cooking. Yeah, the spider legs I need. Okay, so keep spider legs for cooking. Someone also let me know that we don't need flint and tinder anymore to start a fire for cooking in Wrath, which is amazing, and I didn't know that. So we'll, we'll be checking that out. I think that's everything we can sell. Okay. Del Madrid. Yeah, let's have a look here. Yeah, we can make a basic campfire anywhere. That's absolutely amazing. I love it. Great change. Great change. Let's go ahead and cook our small spider legs. There we go. Perfect. And now we make the long run to Darnassus. I'm actually surprised that the servers are up today. I, I kind of expected there to be a maintenance period throughout the day. But it seems like maybe Blizzard has everything preloaded and they're just going to flip the switches on the servers at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That will be pretty interesting. I'm assuming they're going to have to do server restarts. 
So maybe the servers will go down at like 5.30. They haven't posted any maintenance to that effect. They put up a maintenance alert for tomorrow for an hour, which... If the servers are only down for an hour tomorrow morning, that would be incredibly lucky. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be the case. I'm hoping that either way, by the time I'm done with my workout, that the servers will be back up. So even if they're down for a couple hours, it won't affect me too much. But I think it's very optimistic for them to have scheduled a one hour maintenance the day after dropping an expansion. But then again, you'd think they'd have it all ironed out, you know. They, this'll be their second chance at uh, a Wrath release. So, I'm sure it makes it a little bit easier than, say, dropping a full retail expansion. Okay, so Brewfest is not over yet. We're going to avoid that area so that the annoying music and sound effects don't kick in. We're going to swing wide over here. It's hilarious that we have to avoid this. We don't have to avoid it. We, we could just be incredibly annoyed by it and uh, have to turn our... Uh, the, the most annoying part is that it doesn't go away once you outrange it. it once you, if you have loop music on, once that music comes on, it gets stuck in your loop music and you have to disable your music, wait, and then re-enable it. That's the annoying part. If it was something you could pass through and it would only have those that audio track playing while you were around it, then it wouldn't be nearly as annoying as it is. Uh, we can go ahead and train our next rank of fishing over here if we have enough money to do so. I am listening. There we go, journeyman fishing. Farewell. That'll let me get on later and level that up a little bit. It's actually remarkably easy to level it up. I mean, maybe it gets harder. I really don't know how it could. Unless you have to seek out, like, specific lakes and stuff to level up. And see, that's the part that I don't know. Can I just stand, like, here in the middle of Darnassus and level up my fishing to, like, 225? And then go to Outland and find water and just level it up to 300? Or do I have to find specific pools of water to catch specific fish? See, I, I know nothing about it. I'm assuming it's not that complicated anymore, even if it used to be. But I will allow for the concept that there, there might be different pools we have to visit that have different levels of fish. That would make sense. Speak quickly, young one. I have urgent matters to attend. Uh, let's see. I know that I did not summon you, so I cannot help but wonder why it is you have come to speak with me. Whatever it is, please make it quick. Ah, yes, the water I had requested. Teneron and Cortharis certainly took their time in having it delivered, perhaps not choosing the most reliable of messengers, hmm? Nonetheless, I can finally get back to my work then. The weight of Teldrassil's problems fall upon my shoulders, a yoke I would wish to soon be rid of. Take this, you may find some use for it. This guy is definitely a little bit snarky with us. Uh, new bow, that's good, so a little bit more damage. Probably a, a lot more damage, actually. And yeah, I think that's it for this area. We, we are going to go ahead and head down to Root there in Village, and we will get a flight point over to Darkshore. 
and begin our adventures there. Pretty exciting stuff. We do have a breadcrumb over here we can turn in and then possibly pick up another part of it. Oh, this is a fishing supplier. Ishnu Dal Diem. Yes, I have a need of a courier who will take a package to Darkshore. Will you help me? The fishermen of Root Theron Village do very well, for the fish here are extremely large and abundant. I would like to compare the bounty here with that of the mainland. I have a collection of fish bones and scales I would like taken to a colleague of mine in Darkshore. His name is Laird. He is a fish vendor in the village of Aberdeen. Good luck, friend. I am honored. All right, let's jump on the hippogriff here. We could take the boat too, but I, I feel like Good the night. flight point is going to be a lot faster than waiting for a boat. And looking at all the quests to pick up, that's an intimidating amount of quests. That, that's like 50 quests. I am kind of overwhelmed by that. It's probably because we're at a high level. So normally you'd probably come here like level 12 and things would open up over time. But we all have everything opened up for us by default. Let's get into it. Washed ashore, majestic sea creatures are known to launch themselves at Darkshore's coastline. Beach there until they die. Lately, these beasts have been washing ashore in ever-increasing numbers. I've been sent here by the Temple of the Moon to investigate, but the presence of murlocs along the water has made my research difficult. There's a giant creature washed ashore just south of Aberdeen that is ringed by foul, gray mist murlocs. Goddess, watch over you. We will bring back a sample. Here is our breadcrumb with the fish parts. Hello. I must send a response. You'll be very interested to know how different fish here are from the coast along Teldrassil. We can only guess at the cause, but it is my suspicion that the world tree itself is affecting the wildlife around it. Light your That's just sending us back to like tell her that. We're not going to do that right now. Uh, let's set our hearthstone here. That would be a good first move. And there's a quest out on the docks we need to go pick up. And a quest from a dwarf down here on the water. What brings you here? In the aftermath of the battles at the Well of Eternity, I heard that Am Ameth Iran had been destroyed, its people dead, including my love, Anea. I would never have thought thousands of years later that memories of Anea would still haunt my dreams. Wandering the woods of Darkshore in a stupor, I found myself in the ruins of Ameth Iran. 
where I saw the haunted spirit of my beloved. She must be freed, but I lack the heart to do it. Her spirit must be destroyed. Yeah, destroying spirits, <laughs> crushing spirit, what we do here. The stars guide you. We can definitely get that done. Let's go talk to this dwarf. How are ya? Uh, he loves fishing and he wants us to catch six Dark Shore groupers. Watch your back. Which we could probably do. Um, are we just going to be able to fish them up here? Let's let's cast our line a couple times and see if we have any luck with this. Uh, so far, no. This will probably be a quest I do while I am intentionally leveling up, leveling up our fishing later. So let's just save that one and let's make our way back into town here. Can probably re-equip our axe. Oh, they've even made the... It wasn't enough to put an exclamation point above the wanted posters. They have done a tweak to make the wanted posters sparkle. Because that's what we needed. Sparkling wanted posters. A reward is being offered for the death of the Murloc Mercadeep. The foul beast is known to be responsible for the death of at least one sentinel and is suspected of causing the sinking of at least two cargo... How does a Murloc sink entire ships? Mercadeep was last spotted at the hutted Murloc camp south of Aberdeen. Okay. Anything else going on in here? It doesn't look like it. I am listening. Cave mushrooms. I am devising a potion that requires rare mushrooms. Mushrooms that grow only in a certain cave. The cave lies beyond Cliff Spring Falls to the east and slightly north along the mountains. I would go there myself, but I was advised by the Grove of Ancients to stay away from that place. Our venerable allies sense that the cave is, in the, is the hiding place for a new evil in Darkshore. I, I remember this cave. I remember getting killed in this cave on a hardcore run that we were doing on the Rogue, I think it was, we got killed there. Yep, I do remember. The Red Crystal. Hostile Moonkin roam in ever-increasing numbers to our east. They once were thought to be gentle, almost mystical creatures. While some continue to hold reverence for them, the safety of Aberdeen forces me to keep a more realistic view. I've received reports that the Moonkin are being drawn to a large red crystal along Darkshore's eastern mountain range. No one has any idea what the crystal is, or even if it really exists. I want you to locate it over there and report back to me what you find. Very well. Why are there reports of it if no one knows for sure that it exists? How does that make sense? Uh, it does say there's a quest in here, maybe up top in the inn. Maybe something we missed upstairs. Yep. Oh, it's a goblin. Oh, it's a goblin. You. It's a gnome, even. Uh, Buzzbox827. Help me with my latest invention, the Buzzbox, so you can talk to people far away. Maybe you've already seen them. They're boxes with levers on them. The only problem is they need constant maintenance. Each one suffers from a different problem, but I made a really smart decision. I placed each one near creatures that have the proper parts to fix that particular machine. That's weird. Animal parts fix your machine. It's strange. Be seeing yeah, you. We'll, we'll maybe be mm, able to find those. And let's see, Gaffer Jacks. I came to Aberdeen because of the quiet. I want to invent my inventions where it's quiet because after a night of drinking, I don't like all the noise of Ironforge. So I took a ship to Aberdeen and had a little too much along the way. I dropped my box of Gaffer Jacks overboard. I need my Gaffer Jacks. If you could just tell us what the Gaffer Jacks are, maybe we could help you. He, he's not going to tell us what they are. Right. But maybe, maybe we'll help him out. It feels like intentional nonsense words, which are like I'm not a big fan of. It's why I typically don't read quests given to me by goblins or gnomes. Because they are typically... I don't want to say they're written with humor, because I never find them funny. Uh, but they're written with something. Can and whatever that something is, I, I never particularly care for it. Plagued lands, a sickness spreads across the Darkshore, gripping the minds and bodies of all it touches. 
The thistle bears have been hit the hardest by this plague. The once noble beasts are now an instrument of destruction, rabid and frenzied. I may have a cure for this ailment. Take this trap to the forest and lay it on the ground. Any rabid thistle bear that crosses the line shall become docile for a short time. Once the bear is docile, it shall follow you. Lead it back here. Goddess, watch over you. All right. Do that. Greetings. And how big a threat. Some of my brethren were rescued from a corrupt Furbolg Intel Drassel. And I vowed to stop any more atrocities before more of our kind are injured or worse. I've seen a couple of hints of corruption in Darkshore already, but I haven't yet to find any widespread signs. I think it would be logical if the investigation continued with the Furbolgs. Would you find one of their camps and return to me if you see any signs of corruption? Del Madris. And if you never hear from us again, I guess that means there was no corruption and you're good? Or do you want us to tell you that too? How may I help? Uh, Tower of Althalax is a level 20 quest. Hail young night elf, I am Alyssa Starbreeze and this is my charge to protect Aberdeen from harm. To this end, I sent Shadow Shadowstrike to observe the strange happenings around the Tower of Athalax to the northeast. It is past time that he should have returned. I worry that he has encountered some unforeseen danger in the forest. I would be most appreciative if you would find him and see that he is doing well. Be careful. I think this is one of the rare times when we go to find a person and they're not already dead. All right, we have more quests to pick up over here. I wonder, yeah, we're gonna have enough room in our quest log, but it's gonna be pretty full. Well, Let's met. see here. Deep ocean, vast seas off the coast of Darkshore to our north are two wrecked ships, the Silver Dawning and the Mist Vale. Some time ago, both ships ran afoul of the blasted murlocs as they sailed across the vast sea into Aberdeen. They now lie at the bottom of the ocean as trophies for those fiends. Both captains didn't make it out of that night, and their logs and other effects are still below in lockboxes. I'd like for you to recover them for us. It would mean a lot to the crew still around in these parts. Be good. Okay. Ishnu Allah. Easy Strider Living. They want us to get five. It's a cooking quest. Five Strider Meats. Pretty straightforward. Not a lot of lore there. Let's talk to Thunderous. When we were here, he doesn't believe in wearing shirts. But neither would you if you were that ripped. The ruins of Bashal Aran to the east are overrun with demonic minions. The sprites and satyrs that have taken up residence in the area feed upon the magical energies of the area, their powers growing from continued exposure. Even with that, I have noticed that there is one shrine they will not approach. On the western side of the ruins, atop a small bluff, a strange blue aura permeates. There must be an explanation to the demon's reluctance. I would like you to investigate. The stars, Random night elf who I've never seen before. Go do this important thing for me. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, it looks like we have... Oh, he has two quests. Yes. I am on. Have you seen the ruins of Amethoran? If not, you will find them to the eastern side of the main road some ways to the south. Once they were the home of many powerful highborn, and now they are a testament to the destruction their dabblings produced. I have been told by the Sentinels that the spirits of the Highborn persist and that they wield their ancient magical implements. Those relics must be appropriated so that we might destroy them. Go in peace. Okay, we have picked up 37,000 quests. And now we have to actually leave town and do something about it. Uh, I think I'm just going to head south and we'll get crawler legs, we'll get the sea creature bones, and we will just slowly start to pick away at these quests until our map looks a little bit not cluttered. We have a decent amount of inventory space. I, I think we are pretty much good to go here. The only thing I, sh I didn't do that I ought to have done, I should have leveled up my first aid and trained the next rank of that, but we haven't really been needing to use it yet, so I will get that done later today, probably off recording. Probably when I do fishing would be a good time to level first aid.
All right, this is also maybe a good area to start working on the crawler legs. I see some of them here in the water. It's good that our bird can fly underwater to attack underwater creatures. That's, that's a really nice skill for him to have. We are starting to use a little bit more mana now, especially since we're doing Hunter's Mark every pull, so I'm going to stick to a lot of auto attacks for now, just to see like how much we can conserve our mana. Alright, that's all the crawler legs. We're right here by town, so let's go ahead and we'll turn these two in really quick. And then we'll head back out. Oh, here is the first buzz box that the guy was talking about. This is the one being fixed with the crawler legs. Okay. Tiny voice crackles from deep within the machine. Whizbang here. The next buzz box is north of Aberdeen on the beach. It needs three thresher eyes. All right. And we did hit level 15 also. We can spend our talent points. We can also queue up for dead mines now, but we're, we're not going to have any of the quests. Greetings. Because we are not questing in Westfall, and a lot of them can't be shared. Uh, but we'll still run the dungeon a couple times at some point. It is only recently that these creatures started landing on the coast of Darkshore in such alarming numbers. I can't help but think this is an ill omen of some sort. It, it probably is. I hope the Murlocs did not give you much trouble in collecting this. I will be sure that this gets on the next Hippogriff to Darnassus. The Temple of the Moon has given me some funds to hand out for assistance. That beach creature is not an isolated incident here in Darkshore. There are many more along the coastline and even in the water. I would like for you to investigate another one that we know of. This one has been reported to be in the water due west of Aberdeen, close to a sunken vessel. Oh, we get a, a belt with stats on it. I mean, it's intellect, but light your path. it's better than nothing. Out in the water. Okay. That's interesting. Let's, uh, let's swim out there and do this now. It's a little ways out. And I don't know if I've ever done this one before. Great to meet you. Now he wants us to find six crab chunks as See well. Crab chunks. Hmm. All right.
Yeah, I've definitely never found that one before. I think the last time we were here, we weren't using Questy, so... Well, the last time we did a full clear of Darkshore, we weren't using Questy. That would have been... Jeez, that could have been all the way back on the Night Elf Warrior, which was the first character that I played in Classic. And we're about to get run over by a boat. Well, it was a near miss. Goddess, bless you. You've been a tremendous help here today. We now have a solid chance at unlocking the mystery of why these creatures choose to beach themselves on a coast of Darkshore. The idea that they might be fleeing the area around Teldrassil is disturbing. Should you come across others in your travels, please let me know. Our research here is but in its infancy. On behalf of the Temple of the Moon, please accept this as, as thanks for your efforts. Okay, we'll take the intellect belt. It's weird that like the belt is green, the boots and the mail bracers are white items. I don't really understand that itemization, but Go in peace. okay. We will take the one with two intellect on it and consider ourselves pretty lucky about that. What else do we want to do right nearby? We need strider meat, five. We need to come down here and uh, investigate the Furbolg camp. Could be something to do. Maybe we just run around here in the woods right outside of town and get the strider meat that we need. That could be something to check off the list pretty easily. We don't need these Moonstalker runts, but we can certainly skin them, so if they're in the way, we will take them out.
So there's definitely not a great drop rate on the meat from these guys. We're going to aggro that cat. Yep, there we go. Let's just take him out. And we're out of mana for the first time uh, at level 15. Do we have any water? Uh, that is a negative. We will sit on our regen, but yeah, that is the sign that we do need to bring some water out with us. That being said, I mean, we can have our pet attack, and our, with the pet attack and our auto attack, we can kill basically anything pretty easily, but it's nice to be able to press some of your ability buttons, so we will make sure we have water from here on out. We picked up an offhand item, one intellect, ancestral orb. Four out of five on the meat, so we need to find one more. Skinning is at level 72. We're going to have to train this up pretty soon. I don't want to be skinning stuff and not be getting skill ups for it because we're capped out. That being said, we did just finish the quest for the Strider meat. Let's go back to town. We'll get this turned in. Uh, is there a trainer back in town? No, there's no skinning trainer or anything like that in town. So I will have to take us over to Darnassus to do that. 
which is fine. It's just a quick flight away, thankfully. And it's actually really great. It would be like having a flight point from Goldshire to Stormwind, which there is definitely not. <laughs> the fact that we get a flight point uh, from Aberdeen... Well, I guess Aberdeen is more like Westfall, right? It's a lot closer, though. What, what expansion was it that they put the additional flight points in? I guess it must have been Cataclysm, where they went through and they added flight points to places like Goldshire and the Eastvale Logging Camp. Another quest opened up over here, but it's it's red. It's level 20. Probably don't need to grab that one right now. Hello. Let's turn this in. Oh, we get a recipe for this, so that's really good. May the stars guide you. We need cooking recipes. It's awesome. Perfect. Now we can use any strider meat we do pick up, fighting them incidentally to level up our cooking. And yeah, guys, I think I am going to park it at the inn here and take a little bit of a break. What I will do is I'll, I'll get us over to uh, Teldrassil and I'll train the next rank of skinning. That way, next time we're not running around skinning stuff and not getting skill upgrades, I'll empty the inventory out. And yeah, I'll probably play a little bit more today. I, I did expect the servers to be down, so I didn't expect to be able to play so much. So I'll probably do a little bit more. And I'll probably try to drop a video for the Hunter every other day or so, even while we're leveling up at Northrend. Try to keep her going, even though we're not going to have time to really focus on her right now. But yeah, let me, go, let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you for being here and spending some of your time with me in Azeroth. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.